Seed Studio has just dropped the latest addition to their tiny but strong Xiao series, the Xiao ESP32C6, and it's a game changer. This tiny powerhouse is not only cost effective but comes with the mighty ESP32C6 chip from Expressive Systems. We are talking about strong wireless connections made specifically for smart home devices that follow the Meta standard. This microcontroller unit has everything you need like Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, and Thread or Zigbee. And true to the Xiao legacy, it's tiny enough to fit into small spaces in your projects. And it keeps your data safe with built in encryption as secure as Fort Knox. It's built on two 32 bit RISC V processors with a high performance HP processor with running up to 160 megahertz and a low power LP32 bit RISC V processor which can be clocked up to 20 megahertz. There are 512 KB SRAM and 4 MB flash on the chip, allowing for more programming space and bringing more possibilities to the IoT control scenarios. To better support your IoT projects, Xiao ESP32C6 not only provides seamless integration with mainstream cloud platforms like ESP Rainmaker, AWS IoT, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, but also leverages security for your IoT applications. With its on-chip secure boot, flash encryption, identity protection, and trusted execution environment, this tiny board ensures the desired level of security for developers looking to build smart, secure, and connected solutions. The new Xiao ESP32C6 has a strong built-in high-performance ceramic antenna that can connect to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices up to 80 meters away. You can also connect an external UFL antenna with the onboard UFL antenna connector. It also comes with an optimized power consumption management with four different power modes and an onboard lithium battery charging management circuit. When it's in deep sleep mode, it uses a tiny bit of power with a current as low as 15 microamps, making it an excellent fit for remote battery powered applications. On the right side of the USB-C type port is the built-in LED and boot button labeled as B while on the left side you can find the charging LED and the reset button labeled as R. Is the newest and being the 8th member of the Seed Studio Xiao family, Xiao ESP32C6 keeps the same small design as the classic Xiao design. It's made to fit in a small space, just 21 by 17.5 millimeters, and it still only has components on one side. Despite its tiny size, it amazingly breaks out 15 total GPIO pins, including 11 digital IOs for PWM pins and 4 analog IOs for ADC pins. It supports UART, I2C, and SPI serial communication ports. All these features make it a perfect fit for either space limited projects such as variable devices or for making your own circuit boards. For the technical specifications and its comparison with Xiao ESP32C3 and Xiao ESP32S3, you can read this table. It's available on my website electronicclinic.com. I've added a link in the description. It's compatible with both Arduino IDE and ESP IDF. But for now, I'm going to start with the Arduino IDE as it's the recommended programming tool for the Xiao ESP32C6. So you need to complete the Arduino installation as part of the software preparation. Xiao ESP32C6 requires at least version 2.0.8, while on my laptop, I have the Arduino 1.8.19 version installed. So first, I'm going to download the latest version of the Arduino IDE. For this, you will need to go to the arduino.cc official website. The Arduino IDE version 2.3.2 is available for the download. On the right side, you can see the download options, select the one as per your operating system. The Arduino IDE has been downloaded and now let's go ahead and install it. All the libraries and ports are updated and now my Arduino IDE is ready. 
Let's go ahead and check if the Xiao ESP32 C6 is available in the boards list. It's such a long list of boards. Seems like all the ESP32 variants have been added in the list. Right now, I can only see Xiao ESP32 C3 and Xiao ESP32 S3 in the list. As of April 2, 2024, the most current stable release of Arduino ESP32 is version 2.0.14. Unfortunately, this version does not support the ESP32 C6 chipset, which means it also does not support the Xiao ESP32 C6 board. To work with Xiao ESP32 C6, you will need to utilize the development release of the board manager URL. You can download this link from the article available on electronicclinic.com. So simply copy this URL. Next, go to the file menu, then to preferences and paste the link in the additional boards manager URLs. And then click on the OK button. Close the Arduino IDE and open it again. Go to the Boards Manager and search for the ESP32 board. This one is by the Arduino, so not this one. We are looking for the one by the Espressive Systems. Here it is. Select the latest version that is 3.0.0-alpha3. Select it and then click on the Update button. It's going to take around 35 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. It's successfully installed. Additionally, the latest development release version 3.0.0-alpha3 was released on December 5, 2023. However, it does not contain support for Xiao ESP32 C6. So you will need to manually set it up. And for this first, you will need to download the boards.txt file and the Xiao underscore ESP32 C6 folder. I've added links in the description. After downloading the boards.txt file and the Xiao underscore ESP32 C6 folder, next go to the C drive, then to users. If inside the users folder you can't see the OK folder, it means it's hidden. So first you will need to unhide it. Anyway, open the OK folder. Then go to the app data. Then to local. Then to Arduino 15 then to packages ESP32 then to hardware again ESP32 finally you will see this folder so go ahead and open this folder first we have to replace this boards file with the one that we downloaded Make sure you delete the existing boards file. Next, go to the variants folder. Copy the Xiao ESP32 C6 folder and then paste it in the variants folder and that's it. You can see in the variants folder we already have the Xiao ESP32 C3 and the Xiao ESP32 S3 and now the Xiao ESP32 C6 is also added in the variance folder. We are done with the hard part. Now let's go ahead and check if we can find the Xiao ESP32 C6 in the boards list. Here it is. If you can also see the Xiao ESP32 C6, then congrats. Next, we are going to blink the onboard LED. Connect your ESP32 C6 port to the laptop using a USB-C type cable. Upload this simple LED blinking sketch. For this, first select the Xiao ESP32 C6 port from the boards list. Next, select the communication port and then finally upload the program. 
if you get an error like this, which is due to the pins Arduino.h, to fix this error, you will need to go to the variance folder and then to the Xiao ESP32C6 folder. Copy the pins underscore Arduino.h file. Then go to the course folder. Open the ESP32 folder and paste the file. This will fix the issue. Let's again upload the program. This time you can see the program successfully uploaded and also the onboard LED has started to blink. Let me show it to you. So that's all about how to get started with the Xiao ESP32C6. In upcoming tutorial, I will test its Bluetooth communication range and I will also build different IoT based projects. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.